Hello and welcome back to the channel and vlogmas. This Christmas is going to be the first time in five years that I'm going to be alone for Christmas and I know a couple of other people will be as well. Of course we are in the middle of a global pandemic so things are going to be a lot different this year so more people will be alone so I uh, I guess I just wanted to get my feelings out there and maybe some of you can relate and also I want to invite you to something that maybe will help you feel a little bit less alone. Before we get started be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other videos for the remainder of this month's vlogmas. So from 2015 to 2019, I had Christmas holidays with a significant other. Well, last year was a bit of a disaster with um, lots of unfortunate events happening, but at the end of the day, it was still with other people. But now this year, I, I'm single and we're in the middle of a pandemic, so I can't really go out with any friends right now. So it, it's a little bit of a bummer, although being with a significant other's family, only deaf person, and with the whole hearing family, it all it already felt like I was alone anyways because of inaccessibility. But there was still at least one person and I felt safe around and was with, and it wasn't too bad. Because well, if you want to get real literal about it, li literal deaf problem. If you want to get real literal literal about it <laughs> we're gonna give up saying that it really i'm not alone but i am with i am with someone in an abusive household that i uh, grew up with and that's a whole video that subject alone can be for another video and i think it will be dealing with uh abusive parents or anyone having to be in a toxic environment that you can't get out of that'll be another video but even then to me it still feels like just being alone for the holidays because with this environment there hasn't been an actual holiday christmas in ever <laughs> And I, it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit of a bummer, you know? You know, I miss being around people that actually seem to like each other and didn't scream at each other all the time. Uh, being able to exchange presents was always nice. That might be a little materialistic, but just the event of it all was really nice and being able to be with somebody I love and cuddle, watch movies or whatever. Ah, uh, yeah, that was nice. Yeah, as someone who pretty much grew up alone and not with many friends and dealing with language barriers and accessibility, it just sucks when everybody is going to be together and they can have a good time, but you are the lonely one that's either uh, just kind of in a corner off by yourself or you're actually going to be by yourself at home that you don't really have any wants to spend it with and it, it's gonna bring back a couple of depressing memories for me and really anybody else that uh, knows what i'm talking about and has had to deal with this sort of thing before or even now right yeah, for four years in a row i was getting used to being with other people and experiencing a little bit of happiness for a little while and now it's like oh okay that's not coming around anymore and that sucks i have had one friend reach out to me and like invite me to uh go on a little road trip and you know stay with them but one not having a car of your own kind of puts a whole damper on that also it's just the whole coronavirus thing just really doesn't make that seem like the safest idea in the world so that's a bit of a bummer there and i definitely would not want to fly at all so it's like you're really appreciative of that offer but it just doesn't seem like the best idea right now so that sucks getting offers but not being able to really accept them and use them i do wonder if anybody that i know is hosting like little zoom parties like some people were hosting thanksgiving ones but i wonder if anybody's doing that for christmas but here's the thing if you are going to also be alone during the holidays or if you're just gonna be surrounded by people you don't want to be with and you're gonna hide in your room if you didn't know I have a Twitch channel, so I will be streaming Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, very likely. Video games or just talking, maybe doing some editing, I don't know, that, that's a little bit away, right? So if you are interested, I don't know what times that will be yet, follow me on all sorts of social media, I'll probably post it in the community tab as well. 
But if you want some laughs, if you want to join a little community, come to my Twitch channel. Alright? You don't have to say anything, you can just lurk if you want to, but I'll be, I'll be trying to entertain you or make you laugh or whatever. We'll figure out what we're gonna do then. I invite you, you're all invited. Here's my username, Ricky Point. I'll also have it linked down below. And hey, go ahead and follow me if you want right now. You don't have to wait until Christmas. Come and join in now. I stream a couple days a week. So that way we'll hopefully be able to help each other feel a little less alone, not have to deal with people that may not be good for us and also if we just don't have anyone in general. Make the holidays just a little bit better. Oh, it's gonna be a big change and one I'm not necessarily looking forward to, but we're gonna try to find ways to make it better. I think it'll be okay. Let me know in the comments down below what you're gonna be doing for the holidays. Do you have people that you can spend it with? Are you gonna do Zoom parties or Anything else, let me know down below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Perhaps share it around. That really helps the channel grow. Also, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you hopefully, depending on how YouTube's feeling, don't miss out on any future uploads. But I'll be trying to upload every day throughout December, so just keep a lookout for that. Thank you for watching. I very much appreciate it, and I will see you later.